everyone, welcome back and welcome if you are new. Olivia here with Olivia's Romantic Home. And in today's video, I cannot wait to share with you six DIY Dollar Tree French farmhouse decor crafts. So this is another episode in my huge I Love Spring series. I love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. So without further ado, go ahead and plug in your glue guns get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. For the first Dollar Tree DIY, we're gonna create a super adorable French farmhouse faux enamel tub. So I'm gonna take this cute little graphic that I found on graphicsfairy.com. It has some French lettering and also a lamb. I will leave a link to graphicsfairy.com down below, and I'm going to just cut it out, and then I'm taking this plastic bin from Dollar Tree, and I'm going going to take some Mod Podge and put a generous layer of Mod Podge. And actually, I got a little bit too much here, you guys. Um, I did end up kind of going in and around though the entire thing and getting it really, really, really glued on really well. So once I had a layer of Mod Podge applied, I went ahead and put my little French farmhouse sticker on the front and I got it nice and smoothed on. And then I just took another layer of Mod Podge and went in with some Mod Podge on the front. Now you can see that my little lamb is missing part of its kind of face and body there. My printer was a bit low on ink, so I decided just to go ahead and fill it in with a little bit of Sharpie, and then I blended it with some paint. And this is such an adorable little um, DIY, and it is so fun and inexpensive. So how cute is this looking? I then decided to take some black paint, and this is just regular crafter paint, and then I'm using this little crafting sponge, and I'm going around the handle and the side of my little faux enamel tub to kind of make it look like it was aged. Back in my flea market days, I was always finding old enamel wear, and I thought it just looked so fun and French country chic. So that's what I wanted to create with this darling um, little tub here. I'm definitely gonna be using this in my kitchen decor just for extra storage. I've been doing so much organizing I really wanted to have something super cute to be able to store some of my extra goodies in. So again, I'm just taking that sponge and I'm also going in around the base of my little faux enamel tub. Think about doing the edges and the handles and the base. All of the places that normally an old kind of antique place would appear to be aged. <laughs> you, I even did a little bit on the inside to kind of make it really nice and cohesive. And here it is in my little French farmhouse chic setup. Oh my goodness. So I popped this darling little pillow that we're going to make in this tub and some faux lavender. And then we're going to create this really adorable little banner. And oh my goodness, this is just so fun and fabulous. I'm so ready for some spring decorating and I love to do fabulous items on a budget. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm gonna take these cute little wooden chick cutouts and I'm taking this wrapping paper that I had left over from Christmas and I'm gonna trace around the little chick and then I'm gonna cut it out. You can also find some buffalo check plaid paper at Hobby Lobby for a quarter a sheet. And then I'm just gonna take some Mod Podge and I'm gonna Mod Podge the front of my shit, my little chick. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add the little piece of paper. Think you guys could use pretty much any little piece of scrap paper you have laying around, but this is gonna be so adorable. I really think the French farmhouse theme definitely has to have that little bit of buffalo check plaid. And I did get this wrapping paper on clearance at Target at the end of the season. So I added just a cute little jute twine bow, and then I just strung the little chicks on a piece of jute twine, and they're kind of hanging out of my little faux enamel tin. Eventually though, I am going to use these in my kitchen for my Easter decor, and I think they're fun because I can use them even past Easter. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, you're going to need one of these Dollar Tree glass bottles, and I just spray painted my bottle with some regular spray paint, and then I printed out these French graphics, again from graphicfairy.com. They are so amazing, and then I'm just going to go ahead 
ahead and add some Mod Podge to the back of my little graphic label. You could really pick any label you wanted, but I definitely wanted to use some of these French sayings. If you just type in French farmhouse on graphicsfairy.com, it'll give you guys all kinds of different graphics that you can choose from. And then I'm gonna take some of that same black paint that we used on the first project, and I'm gonna dab my little sponge into it. Now, when you apply the paint in these projects, you wanna kind of just have a tiny bit of paint on your sponge. So definitely dab it off on your plate before you get to going. But I love this jar or this bottle, actually, it's from Dollar Tree. And once it's painted and then you're going back over it with this black paint, you can really see the beautiful detail on this. This is the first time I've actually done this type of project on this jar, and I was so impressed with the detail work with it. Oh my goodness, the sky is the limit. I really went to town distressing it and aging it, and I feel like this is something you would see at Hobby Lobby for much more. Now I'm taking some of that Dollar Tree jute twine. I wanted to let you all know that you can find their jute twine in the automotive section, and it comes three rolls to a pack, so you get so much bang for your buck. But I'm just wrapping some jute twine around this little project, and then I'm gonna tie a shoelace bow in the front. This is super easy. You just tie a, shoe, a bow like you're tying your shoelace, not hard at all. And then I'm gonna add some of these cute little burlap rosettes. You can make these with some burlap, or I just ordered some off of burlapfabric.com, super easy. And then I'm gonna make a smaller one to kind of go in and around that same little spot. And I'm adhering it to the jute twine with some hot glue. How fun and fabulous is this? And I just used the little beaded, um, garland that's hanging off of it. That was at Dollar General this season. So check that out, but you guys can pretty much find those anywhere. You can also DIY them. And I also just use this beautiful little striped um, kind of tablecloth piece. It's actually just a piece of fabric, but you could definitely make it into a tablecloth and you can find that at burlapfabric.com. They also have that same pattern at Walmart. So here it is all perfect and ready for a French farmhouse chic theme. I am definitely digging this. I think this is going to be so great to use in my kitchen. I'm using a lot of black and white in my kitchen with some pops of red, but I definitely feel like for spring, my pops of color are going to be purple. Comment and let me know if you guys use a bit of purple in your spring decor. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take some of this craft paper and then some of this wrapping paper, and I'm going to double layer these together. What I want to create is a really cute little fresh French farmhouse springtime bouquet. So I'm just cutting this off and then I want to go ahead and take some of the Dollar Tree onion grass and some of the Dollar Tree lilacs. You could also use some lavender. They have lavender at Dollar Tree or at Walmart. And then I'm just going to gently wrap um, my paper around my little bundle of flowers. I know it would be so nice to have a fresh flower bouquet, but I even think I love this bouquet more because it's real and it will stay fresh pretty much forever. So I'm just going to take this scrap piece of black ribbon and I'm going to tie it around my little bouquet. I'm going to just knot it here. Super easy. This isn't hard at all. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut an upward triangle to dovetail my ends. That's going to give you that really beautiful boutique finish. And I think this is so gorgeous on a budget. You would definitely find this at HomeGoods or TJ Maxx for much, much more. Check your local dollar tree for some faux flowers. I think bundling the same flower together gives it more of a high-end look. So taking the onion grass and putting that in the back, and then I believe I used three bundles of lilacs, and I ended up also popping some faux lavender into this, and then I'm just taking the Dollar Tree jute twine and also one of those cute little French farmhouse labels that I printed out. I punched a hole in the front, and then I'm just gonna string my little jute twine through here, and it looks like it is somewhat handmade, but also kind of fabulous, like maybe you got it from a boutique store or a fresh farmer's market, which I absolutely adore. So fun and absolutely fabulous, you guys. Definitely 
What are you thinking about this? Do you do a French farmhouse chic theme or French country or any type of farmhouse? I feel like there's so many different ways you could spin the farmhouse look, whether it be modern or French farmhouse or farmhouse chic or French country. I think it's so fun though, just to add, add those little touches of country into the decor. It really gives my decor that homey feeling, but I like to add kind of a French chic spin on it. So here it is all together. I am so in love with these projects. What do you guys think about these? I'm definitely loving that nice spring flare with the pops of buffalo check and the blacks and whites. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this little Dollar Tree plastic basket and then I'm going to take some of this Dollar Tree black and white rose contact paper and I just traced it to the base of the basket because I want to take the contact paper and line the inside of the basket. So you just cut your contact paper out, which I love the contact paper. It's super easy to use because it has already made lines. So you'll just peel the back off, pop it into the base of your basket. And then I decided I actually wanted to cover the basket with this ribbon. They have burlap ribbon in this color at Dollar Tree. This was actually some ribbon that I bought on a super deep discount clearance at the Michaels after Christmas sale. So I was super excited to get this. And I'm just hot gluing um, some dabs of hot glue around the top edge and then also around the base of this to just go ahead and cover this entire thing. Again, I wanted to give it that French farmhouse chic flair, so I felt like adding the burlap was super cute, but honestly, this basket is so adorable, you could almost leave it as is. And then I decided to go ahead and add one more layer of ribbon on the top. So I'm just going to take and fold one half of the ribbon on top of this side, run my hot glue down this. And so I'm going to hot glue here and then I'm going to fold my ribbon over and hot glue on the inside. Be careful not to burn yourself, but this is so fun and fabulous. And I think this makes a great tray that you can set out in the center of your table or at your coffee bar, or maybe next to your bedside table with some tissues and a candle or whatever suits your fancy. I just think this is so sweet and it really gives it that high end look by adding this extra piece of fabric. I decided to add my beautiful lilac bouquet, a bit of greenery, and some of those beads. I felt that I felt like that made it just look really nice. And I don't think you would ever guess any of these items are from the Dollar Tree. I think they're just looking so high end and chic and absolutely gorgeous and making me so ready to decorate for spring. So comment and let me know. Have you already started your spring decorating yet? I would love to know. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this little dish drying mat. It's in black that you can get from Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree also carries these little black and white towels. They come two to a pack and both of these items are going to be in your Dollar Tree kitchen section. What I want to do is create a little throw pillow and I'm going to do this just by hot gluing um, three edges of these fabrics together. So I'm starting with this long edge of the fabric. So you're just going to run your hot glue down the edge. You could also use fabric glue and if you're a seamstress or you have a sewing machine which I do not you could sew this which would be great but I love the instant results of hot gluing and since this is just kind of a fun little throw pillow I'm gonna use in my decor it's not that big of a deal so you're gonna continue on with that and then once you're finished you can stuff it with some fabric hot glue the last end together don't forget to flip your pillow inside out and normally I would share that with you guys but the footage on the rest of that ended up being a little bit not so great. So here it is all finished and popped into this black and white decor. 
Don't forget to turn those edges inside out, but look at how finished it looks. I just really love that. I love how it's tying in with all of these beautiful blacks and whites. So as always, I ask you all, please comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video. I love to hear what your thoughts are on my projects, especially because it helps me know what you would like me to create next. And if you have any um, requests, I'd love to hear what you guys are doing um, in your new spring and Easter decor. Also, this is part of my new I Love Spring series. I'm going to link the playlist for the rest of the series down below. You'll definitely have to go check out those videos. I've done a ton of Dollar Tree DIYs, and I am so excited to share more with you all. Thank you for hanging out with me. Y'all are just pretty much simply the best. And I have to tell you, I love you. Thank you for being here. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is such a true blessing and an honor to have you all here. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you all are new, welcome. I am Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home, and I love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget using items from the Dollar Tree, the thrift store, transforming them to make your space cozy and absolutely amazing. I am also a dedicated wife, mama, and crafter, and I am just blessed and honored to have y'all here. I would love to have you subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's totally free. Click the subscribe button and the little bell next to it will update you every time I post a new video. I also have the Olivia's Romantic Home Instagram page if you want to pop over there. I also share behind the scenes of my little crazy crafty mama life, as crazy as a crafty mama can be. And I love to share with you guys also different um, people that are tagging me on Instagram. I share those on my story. I also love to be inspired by you all. So thank you for all of the tags and all of the likes and the hearts and the comments and the shares. Y'all are just truly the best. You just keep me going on this journey. So thank you. I also have an Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page. If you would like to join me over there, pop over there, request to join. I'll approve your request and you can share photos of your DIY projects and your home decor with other crafty, fun folks over there. It's such a kind and loving community. It is a true blessing and honor, truly. I love y'all so much. So I cannot wait for the next video. I want to encourage you all to keep going on your journey wherever you're at. Love yourself, love those around you, and remember to give yourself grace. You know, everything's not always going to be perfect, so you just have to keep going. And um, I just want to encourage you to keep up the good work crafting and decorating and tidying up your homes. So, anyway, I love you all to the moon and back. Until the next video, we will talk to you later. Bye bye. That I love you.